the findings of our study of the social-political infrastructure of Delta House. This has been a joint effort of the Pan-Hellenic Disciplinary Council. The co-ed auxiliary of the Reserve Officer Training Corps. Get to the point. <laughs> In conclusion, let me state that the intricate and seemingly irrepressible organism that is Delta House rests on a single support. A keystone, if you will. Remove that keystone. And the web crumbles. <laughs> Simpletons forget these nursery school visual aids. Now tell me, who is this Keystone? The Keystone is Daniel Simpson Day. D-Day? That's him, sir. Why D-Day? Everyone knows that Stratton and Blutarski are the key fungi that spreads the Delta disease. <laughs> Simple, Dean Wormer. He's their anti-authority spiritual leader. <laughs> Banana! <laughs> Ice! Yeah! And secret ingredient. <laughs> this is going to be the best green foam tornado creatures we've ever had. Sounds of college life. Save them, guys. They won't last forever. My grades, they just might. Will you guys hold it down? I do have my departmental comprehensions this week, and if I don't pass them, I will be in big trouble. Let the press have some quiet. Thank you, D-Day. Okay, guys. Oops. Okay, guys, get them while they're green. <laughs> hey, what's this? My germs aren't good enough for you? Oh, no, brother, I... Don't. What are you, a closet omega? I saw him arranging all the clothes hangers so they face the same way. You did? I didn't. No, uh, he's lying. He's a liar. <laughs> you calling me a liar? Sorry, Got great germs. I can't believe it's been over 20 years since you and I were in the war. I think of those days often, Dumkey. Every man holding out against impossible odds. Under horrible conditions. Jungle warfare at its worst. Our boys hadn't received a paycheck in six weeks. And it was up to us in the Paymaster Corps to battle our way through that jungle of red tape to get those paychecks going. War was hell. It was for us. In for the duration. And in New Jersey. Dumkey. Sir? Since you've been assigned to the Faber Office of the Selective Service System, how much authority do you hold? Are you kidding, sir? I'm the entire office. There's a certain young man here on campus whose student deferment is in question. Seems he hasn't seen the inside of a classroom since the first leaf of autumn fell. Will he make a good soldier, Vern? One you and I can be proud of? The best. Daniel Simpson Day. Get him. Give me the ball, give me the ball, give me the ball, D Day! Oh! Oh, no! 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 No!
every time. Two. Two. It's a letter for you. It's from the draft board. Don't panic, D Day. Do not panic. What this could be is a, uh, oh, this could be a, uh, a letter telling you to report for your physical the day after tomorrow. We won't let them take you. There's got to be a way out. Uh, we'll find a loophole. There's always a loophole. We'll hide you. Come on, guys. Play ball. Otter. <laughs> hey, 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 D-Day. I mean, the Army's going to send you to one of those jungles in Louisiana. I mean, they're going to show you how to eat monkeys and bugs and kill men with your teeth. Hey, there's two kinds of things in the world. Things you can do something about and things you can't. Yeah, and the draft is a thing you can do something about. We can report together and tell them we're married. <laughs> Quaker. You've broken up enough fights. Look, I'll jump on your shoulders and flatten your feet. We'll show them your midterm grades. That'll prove to them you're 4F. No go, guys. That's it, D. You're going to surrender? No arguments? No nervous breakdowns? Nothing? Look, guys, everyone thought I'd have trouble in kindergarten. I aced it. Summer camp, junior high, college. I had them all figured out. It's time for a new challenge. The Army dealt this hand, I'll play it. I'm surrounded by bees. To honor the only Delta to answer the call of his country, we are declared today D-Day Day. And I guarantee that when you ship off tomorrow morning, it will be with the memory of the most incredible night you ever spent in your life. You invited Donna Jane Theismann? Okay, the second most incredible night. I'm talking about the party to end all parties, the game to end all games. Yeah? What a better way to ship your buddy off to the Army than with... War Games! <laughs> Reconnaissance patrol should be by any minute. Distract them. How? Use your imagination. Surrender. I've got you surrounded. No, you don't. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> it's the waiting that gets you. It's the fact that I'm a 19-year-old woman wearing a mustache, waiting to get sprayed by a seltzer bottle, and holding an egg to defend myself that gets to me. Synchronize my wrist. So, Dee, tell me something. Suppose you're over there, you're sitting on the Berlin Wall, some officer comes up to you and he says, Start shooting commies. Would you do it? I think I'd shoot, but I wouldn't aim. Think Elvis would shoot him if he was told to do it? If it was him or them. I mean, can you kill somebody if you think that they're going to kill you, or do you have to wait for them to kill you before you kill them? Don't ask me. I'm in a class in six months. You 
owe me one, Brooklyn. Well, if anybody can find excitement over there, it's you. Yeah, maybe, who knows, some beautiful East German spy will try to pump me for secret information. What would you do, let her pump? <laughs> Be the same around here without you, D. I don't care. I just don't feel like playing games. See, it's already different. <laughs> it's dawn. Time for me to go. Thanks for the matching luggage, guys. Okay. I'll try. I'll think of you. Don't forget to write. And make it dirty. <laughs> I want to, um, uh, what, what uh, Rhonda's trying to, trying to say is, um, fresh one. See? One last time. Night's gone by, and I've hardly studied. How can you be needed at a time like this? You'd make a great Omega. I'm eating what I want to, Bottom. Are you kidding, Flounder? I can't study with that thing on. Well, I thought we could all use some cheering up. Singing along with woodpeckers at five in the morning does not make me cheery. In my book, being neat when Delta House has just lost D-Day is a crime punishable by life imprisonment without possibility of junk food. D-Day is not the only thing that Delta House is going to lose if you keep it up. It's going to lose me. Omega. 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 Flander, you going to turn that thing off or not? Listen! You can't tell me where I can listen to my music, Mr. President! No, I, I can't, because I won't be here to do it. Well, good! Fine! Who? Where are you going? The men's dorm. Pinto, where are you going? Nowhere. Me too. Lotto, where are you going? Up a tree. thinking about D-Day. What are they doing to him? Nothing if they know what's good for him. <laughs> All right, men. This here is 
your intelligence test. You will pick up your writing instrument when I give the order, and you will secure it between your thumb and your forefinger. Now, this is your thumb, and this is your forefinger. <laughs> Walnuts? Thanks. Don't take the nuts out of the shells. Why, well, think of it. You know what else is nuts? Robert Hoover in a dorm. Zaslo, the isotope loses its charge here. No, it doesn't, dumbhead. Can't you see there are positive ions at the anode, huh? Trust me, Zaslo. Excuse me, I think this is the assigned room to which I've been assigned? Yes, it is. Hell, You always have to be king of the isotopes, don't you, Zaslo? Well, I've got news for you. Other people know about isotopes, too, you dope. Well, it takes one to know one. Yeah, mm -hmm. what are you going to do about it? Well, <laughs> I sir. What is it? Guess. Guess what we just did to Brian's room. What? 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 We took the light bulb from his desk lamp, and he's got a big test tomorrow! <laughs> You can see things get pretty wild around here sometimes. Wilder than this? Well, you bet. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me, my name is Richard Van Pelt, and this is Morris Zaslo. Hi, Morris. <laughs> say, I don't suppose you guys have any beer around here? Intoxicating beverages aren't allowed in Wild Memorial. Now, Zaslow, you got to get this really right. This is very important. Wrong, and I think... Three weeks. Oh, come on. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Three weeks. What did you do that for? I needed noise. I'm not used to quiet. Take hold of your ankles. You pass the bend over test, son. Bend over. <laughs> Follow the yellow line to the end of the examination area. That'll be your last test. March! Is this the way I'm going to be treated when I'm a private? Compared to being a private, this is a weekend pass with Bridget Bardot. In that case, what line do I stand in to be a general? Thanks, Arge. <laughs> He's passing with flying colors. Marvelous. Wait till you hear what's happening to the Deltas. Some of them are even living off campus. <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> I'm really glad here to welcome refugees from the oppression of the fraternities. I mean, fraternities are an anachronistic vestige of a dying elitist system. They tortured you, didn't they? Well, actually... I knew it, but don't worry. When the people are in power, no one will ever be tortured again. Well, that's good. Wow! Look at all this food! Boy, I'm gonna have a great time here. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Those are Raoul's figs you're eating. Huh? Raoul's got the left-hand side of that shelf. The right-hand side is Robespierre's. You can have the uh, back of the bottom shelf. Yeah, but I mean, uh, at Delta House, we We're just... We're not at Delta House anymore, Flounder. Flounder? What kind of name is that? My name. Oh, yeah. That night, me and Otter put the halibut in the heating ducts of Gamma House. I suppose Otter is all alone in the house. Oh, don't worry about Otter. He knows how to handle loneliness. Privacy. At last. Oh, Flounder's hat. Flounder. The only human I know whose appearance is improved by a beanie. <laughs>
What is it now? I don't know. I've got the whole house to myself. I've got every possible comfort there is, and still, I'm alone. I'm all alone. Alone? Yeah. What am I, a throw pillow? No problem. I spent the Honor. guys or... Sir. Look, you have no idea what it means to be truly alone. But now, you're gonna find out. <laughs> Oh. Outrageous. It's unbelievable. I see it, I see it but I don't believe it. It's incredible. My goodness. <laughs> could you, could you, could you, when did you first discover you could do this? I don't know. I've always been able to do it. I actually turn better. <laughs> do it again. I believe this is a rare occurrence of hyperlocution of the ankular boniline. It happens in one out of every uh, 50 million cases. I'm afraid this man will have to be rejected. You mean I can go? I don't have to go in the army? I'm afraid so. However, uh, we would like to send you to the Yale Medical School for a complete examination. Oh, no, no thanks, Doc. There's some things in this world that are better left alone, and my feet are two of them. Thank you very much for your time. I've had a great day. I've enjoyed it a lot. Goodbye. Thank you. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. This roll contains 2,148 sheets, and that's within plus or minus 1.5 percent. Is that so? Well, my calculations come out to 1,954 sheets, Lane Brain. Well, well, I'm going to prove that you're wrong once and for all. How? I'm going to count the sheets, dumbhead. Well, it takes one to know one. One. Two. Remember the time they switched the, the signs on the Omega house and the Delta house and the Omega parents got trapped on the wrong house? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, remember the time we took the um, road trip? That's not your sugar. Niedermeyer, that mutant throng of deltas is scattered to the four corners of favor. 